subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. G and welcome to the iPhone 5S versus the iPhone 6 versus the iPhone SE speed test on iOS 12, the official. Now 12.1 just dropped yesterday. Can't find the lightning port there. And it brought a couple of enhancements, but it's not official software. So we're just gonna test them here on official software. A lot of people have been asking about these older devices. Makes sense because these older devices are the ones that were supposedly supposed to get a lot more stable and a lot faster. And I can confirm that that has happened to a degree, but we're gonna discuss why I say just to a degree here. The SE sliding around, we should call it the iPhone slide edition, but whatever, let's go ahead and click the button and we're gonna see which one does boot up first. Three, two, one. And you're gonna see those Apple logos appear in just a second. And let's go ahead now and just speed up this video and I'll be back when they are done booting up. Let me just pull these lightning ports out. We don't need these anymore. And you can see all the Apple logos are there. I'll speed it up to see when we get to the home screen. Well, the SE is there already, so might as well just speed it up for these two. So there is the iPhone 6 in second place. And there is the iPhone 5S. Okay, so with the 5S, the first thing I wanna test, and then we'll do the 6 and the SE, is the camera from the lock screen. Camera is supposed to be one of the biggest updates in speed, and you can see the 5S opens that respectably fast here for iOS 12. So that's nice to see there. I'm very happy with that performance, but how fast will it take that photo? And boom. So that's not bad for being a five-year-old phone able to open the camera that fast and start bursting off photos. So you're likely not even going to miss that moment on the 5S here in 2018. Now, same goes for the six. Let's see how fast this can open that camera. And that's definitely faster than the 5S. So let's do that one more time, three, two, one, you could see boom, ready to go. So camera improvements are massive here, at least from the lock screen anyway, for both the older A7 CPU 5S and A8 CPU iPhone 6. Heading over to the Apple iPhone SE, I expect even faster performance and it is fast, but doesn't seem that much faster than the iPhone 6. So definitely you've seen right here that the iPhone 5S is the slowest of the bunch and the six is pretty close to the a9 cpu but the se definitely probably the snappiest here of all of them as it should be but you can see them camera improvements from the lock screen thumbs up they're very fast so if you got to pull out that phone get a quick photo all three of these can still do very well here in 2018. Okay, so before we get some goofball in the comment section saying, oh, that's not even the real software. Here we go. You can see iPhone 5S 16A366 on there. Over here to the iPhone 6, same affair, 16A366. And over here, same thing for the iPhone SE 16A366. So yeah, goofball who was gonna say, Oh, that's fake iPhones. Nope, these are all real iPhones. 5S, SE, iPhone 6, they're all on the real official iOS 12 software. Okay, so quickly before we test those applications you see right here, one thing I wanna discuss is the general overall iOS experience here has definitely improved across the board on every one of the iPhones, including all the way back to the 5S. It's definitely felt how when you're just swiping through pages, swiping through menus and stuff like this, it just feels faster than it did on iOS 11. And and as you go up in years and in processors, it just gets smoother for the device. So control center sliding through menus and apps is very fast, especially in the Apple based applications for the older devices like settings, for example, everything is super smooth for even the oldest of iPhones. iMessage runs great, even all the way back to the 5S. Now the SE was one that I felt was much faster before on iOS 9, when iOS 11 came, it was kind of slower, but the SE brings back its old fast life that it used to have back in the day. So I've been getting a lot of reports from users saying, oh, the SE is so fast now, I love it, I'm keeping it now. And it definitely is very fast on iOS 12. So SE users who were disappointed with some of those updates was slowing down your phone from day one when you bought it, iOS 12, do the update. It definitely revitalizes the performance on the SE. The older devices definitely feel a pickup as well. Let's get into the speed test. Okay, so here we are at the application speed test. You can see everything is closed out. Keep in mind what I said earlier about how the Apple apps have been really improved here in terms of speed when you're looking at the older versions versus like the SE here. So let's go into calendar, three, two, and one. And you could see right down the line, almost identical 
performance. So let's go into clock three, two, and one. And you can see very similar performance there as well. Coming home. So let's go into calculator three, two, one. And you could see the SE, the six and the five S, but still very close there on the application, meaning that when you're using it in the day to day, it's still going to feel fast on all of them. Let's go into settings three, two, one. And you could see down the line, but still pretty close there for both other devices. Let's go into weather three, two, one. And you could see again, pretty close performance. I still see a little faster speeds on the SE. Let's go into YouTube three, two, one. And you could see iPhone six with the win. And there's the SE and the 5S lagging behind, but you can see right there that you're gonna see some improvements on your older device. Let's go into the Instagram, three, two, one. And you can see that is a win for the Apple iPhone SE then the iPhone 6, and then the iPhone 5S. So third-party apps is where the older phones are still lagging behind. Let's go into Amazon, three, two, one, and you can see the SE should win this again, and it does, and there goes the iPhone 6 and the 5S chugging way behind there. So here's where I was gonna say that I noticed the 5S doesn't really improve that much, and that's in their third-party apps. They're still rather slow compared to a newer device. So let's go into Jetpack Joyride, three two and one and you can see which one loads this game first i expect the se to win this one as well having the best gpu of the bunch and you can see yes it does by a long shot over these other two and the 5s beats the six here and then the six so the six and the 5s are much closer than the se is to those two so let's go into slither three two and one and see which one opens this first. And again, we have a win to the SE, then the iPhone 6, and then the 5SC. Like those are really close together here. Let's hop over into Netflix, three, two, one. See which one gets there first. And you could see we have a win for the 6, and then the SE and the 5S tie. So right there, it didn't seem like it mattered who had the faster processor. Let's go into camera, three, two, one. And you've seen there was a little bit of a lag there for the 5S. I almost thought I didn't tap it, but no, there was a little bit of a stutter there for the 5S. So 5S users, if you thought that the iOS 12 was just gonna make your phone like a new phone, it's definitely not. It definitely improves on the older editions, but it still doesn't replace the fact that you have older hardware in the internal body of the 5S. So let's go into the Geekbench, three, two, and one. And you can see that the SE jumps ahead there, then the 6, and then the 5S. So I think you've seen throughout this video that there are only fractions of a second's difference in most of these applications. But I have noticed, I've been testing all of these, I have noticed that the 5S has been choking up in the App Store when I'm trying to download applications, and also when I'm trying to do certain things in apps, I find it to lag up a couple of times. So the 5S is still a lot better than iOS 11, but you're still feeling the age of this device. Same goes with the 6. While it is much smoother than 11, I still feel the age differences with the iPhone 6 versus something from an A9 6S SE 7 and above. So here we have Apple Notes, and let's take a look at this. So when we tap to type, you can see just how fast that keyboard comes up. And you can see there's no delay or lag here for the keyboard on the 5S. Now this is something that can really lag up on older devices is typing experience and keyboard response time. So very fast there for the 5S. Over here for the iPhone 6, you can see all those scribble scrabble words I just did. You see how fast it came up and how fast it's typing here for the iPhone 6. So when you're in iMessage and you need to bring that keyboard up and respond quick, you know, when you're having those texting wars, you're gonna be fine on these older devices. Over here on the iPhone SE, same thing. There was never an issue with this one to begin with, but you can see still very fast. So all older devices, very fast keyboard response and typing times. Okay guys, so final Geekbench scores. iPhone 5S comes in with a solid 1305 on the single, 2205 on the multi, the six gets 1573 on a single 2731 on that multi and over here for the sc we have a 2582 and a 45 looks like 30 there for the multi-core now you might say well what what's the difference well here's the difference last year i did the same test here on ios 11 and you could see 1284 goes up to 1305 so an improvement on the single for the 5s 2205 and it was 2175, so a slight improvement for the 5S here on multi. So a total improvement there 
for the 5s over here for the iphone 6 you can also see an improvement from 1516 to 1573 and also from 2568 to 2731 over here for the iphone se it's slightly slightly improved from 25 26 to 2582 and on the multi-core it goes from 23 or 4360 to 4530 so each phone has an improvement in geekbench which shows that the ios 12 is better optimized and faster than the prior version so in conclusion i know someone's gonna ask me what about the battery life you're doing speed but i want to know about the battery life and i could tell you right now i haven't done a scientific test we will probably do a comparison in battery if you guys want to see that make sure you comment it down below the more comments i see on it the more likely it is to happen but i can tell you generally speaking from using these i've been running them the 5s is not really changed that much i haven't been seeing a huge update and it didn't have great battery life before so if you didn't have great battery life before you're not going to have great battery life again here at least in my experience that's what i've experienced the 6 is slightly better than it was on 11 but 11.4.1 was already solid it wasn't horrible but still, this drains rather fast. Both these two phones will need a charge throughout the day. And the SE hasn't really changed that much either for me. So overall, I'm finding the battery changes to be minimal. It actually will need a test for me, like a scientific test for me to actually give real results because I haven't noticed really any differences. I'm getting about the same battery life as 11.4.1. But if you're getting better battery life, please let the community know down below because this could, this could just be my experience. You could be experiencing much better battery life life and on the whole for the 5s what you're getting is a more stable ios experience the applications that are third party are still not very fast and you still will have some chop and delay once in a while but it's much more improved over ios 11 and that's impressive considering that this device is five years old this is probably maybe your last update we said that last year but didn't happen so the 5s might stick around another year even after this ios 12 for the iphone 6 brings again a more fluid feeling general user experience scrolling through there's less lag and things like that and third-party apps are about as fast as before so they're not drastically improved when you're in applications you get from the app store so general ui performance is there now the se was already kind of fast ever since its inception and on ios 11 it was just slightly slower and i feel like ios 12 brings back that pep it had from when it was new so the se is pretty impressive now on ios 12 and it doesn't feel like any much slower than like an iphone 10 for example so that's basically the conclusion here between all of these i think that's a recommended upgrade on all devices if you found this video helpful enjoying entertaining informing do me a favor click that like button for me any questions comments concerns